catheter-associated urinary tract infection, or CAUTI as it's often referred to, is one of the most common hospital-acquired infections, and it can also lead to certain complications, including increasing length of stay for patients, it can lead to pain, discomfort, and actually to, to death in some patients. CAUTI and the use of catheters is one of those areas where we really need engagement by nurses, physicians, and families. Over the past several years, we've done work with the Health Research and Educational Trust through an HRQ-funded project to spread practices to prevent catheter-associated urinary tract infection in hospital units. We've done work both locally and regionally within the state of Michigan and now uh, taken that work nationally across the uh, United States. We developed a lot of strategies and a toolkit to help hospitals with their quality improvement and catheter-associated urinary tract infection prevention activities. And so this toolkit really focused on a couple of different issues. One of the aspects was to look at various technical issues that we can use in our prevention work, focusing on whether the catheter is needed or whether an alternative could be used, making sure that when we do have to insert a catheter, it's done appropriately, and making sure it gets removed in a timely fashion. We also worked with them to collect data and use that data to understand where their improvement efforts were working or not. And there was also a big focus on culture within hospitals and how we can, as hospital um, providers, as nurses and physicians, work together to focus on this issue. So the outcome of this very large-scale collaborative was a reduction in catheter-associated urinary tract infection rates and also a reduction in catheter use, specifically in units that are not ICU, so these are the medical surgical units. We did not see a reduction, however, in the intensive care unit setting. The other outcome of this initiative was a reduction in catheter use, also again in those units outside um, of the intensive care. So perhaps a little bit more work that needs to be done in the intensive care setting. Sometimes I think as healthcare professionals, we see a lot of bad news about the things that are happening to patients. And in this case, what we saw really was good news in the fact that we could reduce um, catheter use and catheter-associated urinary tract infection rates for patients. And so this really is, I think, a, a success story and that healthcare professionals and the hospitals that participated and the units really should be congratulated. For hospitals that were not part of this activity, there are tools that are available both on the um, AHRQ website, so the toolkit that was provided for the hospitals and a lot of the materials that were provided for the hospitals that participated in the collaborative are available. There's also materials on catheterout.org, which is another website. Um, that provides a lot of information about how to prevent CAUTI as well as some of the tools that were used as part of this effort.